the main working principle of the car park management system is to tell us the amount of parking spaces available in a car park. Welcome to an insightful interview with a brilliant mind from Osho State University. Today, we dive into the world of engineering innovation as we sit down with Abdurrasak Ajibola, a fifth year electrical electronic student. Out of all projects, his own caught my attention. Join us as we explore his journey through the creation of a fascinating project named the Car Parking Management System. Hi, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Abdurazak Ajibola. Abdurazak Ajibola, okay, nice to meet you, boss. It's my pleasure. So, yeah, what department? Electrical Electronics and Engineering. Wow, Osho State University, right? Yes, Osho. Wow, so, like, how has this, how has this um, university been treated you so far? Well, we thank God from 100 level to 500 level. Okay. We thank God. So, we managed. All right. And by His grace, we, we are also a graduate now. All right. By his grace. All right, very good. What's your project about? Well, like, what's um, the topic first? The topic yes, topic. the topic for my final project is a par car park management system. A car park management system. System. Wow, yes. wow, very nice. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the working principle is the main working principle of the car park management system is to tell us the amount of parking spaces available in a par car park. Wow. You know, these days, um, drivers do have issues of parking into garage by not knowing the amount of spaces left in the car park. So right. the room without the room inside the car park and um, looking for spaces okay. in the car park. Right. So this project will alleviate that problem for us wow. by a display board in front of the car park okay. telling us okay this is the amount of spaces left, left. All right. in the car park. All right. So I feel I feel it's a very very nice idea because looking at it from my own point of view, yeah, I feel there are many like car park car parks in Nigeria that does never have this feature at all. Yes. Um, this is a prototype, you know. Okay. Yes. So if you are dealing with real cars, okay, that would be that will cost us money, less than money. Like how much? Like just give me an estimate from how much? I like, millions. Millions, millions of money. <laughs> um. There, we will ask you some questions okay. like, okay, do you have an entry okay. and an exit? Okay. Like, it's not like it's the place you end up, you pass through to enter your park. Okay. Is it the same place you're going out from? Okay. Or you have another exit? All right. So that depends on the amount of gates we would have uh, wow. and the amount of sensors we have wow. and how many parking lots right. are in your car park. All so right. we'll, have, we'll ask that kind of questions to know the wow. amount of... We have components on the car park. Right. The main board, where all the components are connected to, are under the. Okay, projects, under the. Okay, are under it, so it won't be visible. So all the right. projects can it can be made and make sense. Okay. So the first component here is our LCD display board. Okay. It's a liquid crystal display. Okay. So this will show the drivers the amount of spaces left okay. in the car park. Right. So we have a sensor here. Right. It's called an infrared sensor. We use an infrared sensor. Okay. This sensor has a sender and a receiver. Okay. So it detects a car coming okay. to pass through, to enter the car park, you understand? Right. So we have a servo motor, which is acting as the gate of the car park. Okay. So this IR sensor is working in two principles for us. All right, the, the first one is to open the gate okay. and close it. The second one is to send a signal to the Arduino Juno board. That wow. is the microphone. Adreno. Adreno Juno board. Adreno Juno board. Juno board. Juno board. Okay. Yes. Wow. Adreno, it's like a microcontroller. All right. So that's the microcontroller we used. So it will send the signals to the microcontroller. So it will count the spaces left in the car park. So like, what inspired you to like come about this project? Well, um, Nigeria today we have issues. So I've been to a mall before and the mall has a car park. So okay. as we entered the mall, it was a Saturday, a Saturday evening. Okay. So as we entered the mall, we started looking for spaces to park. Right. So we roamed and roamed and roamed about everywhere so is filled like up. Exactly. Everywhere yes. is filled up. So we were like, like okay, how do we do it? We have to take our car outside and okay. park outside okay. of the mall. Right. So we checked inside. For, to alleviate that, that kind of problem, if we had seen a display board, that okay well, there are no parking spaces right. in the garage of the mall. mall we wouldn't have 
took our car inside. Yeah, we dropped off back yes, yes. outside. So that really makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All right. So like, I can't really wait to see how everything works. So, like, can we proceed to like testing the interface and everything? Yes, we can proceed. All right. Then let's go. See. Okay, guys. So we're here now to test how all this um, car park management system works. And let's see how it goes, guys. So, um, yes. what are we going to do first, or what do we need to do first to okay. get this working? Um, the car park management system is to be powered by a power bank. Power bank. Be powered okay. by a power bank. All right. Here it is. Now, it has been powered. All right. So when we powered it, we have welcome. Slot left is eight. Do you understand? Yes. Slot left is eight. So powering the car park management system, when you get to a park. Okay. You have to see. You see this display board. Display board. Okay. Tell you you have eight slots left, right. and even the total slots of our car park is eight slots. Eight slots. Okay. So, so that's one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. Eight, eight so, guys. Eight yes, guys. Very eight good. Guys. So this is a car coming. All right. This, this is a toy actually. A toy car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just use a car. <laughs> All right. All right. This is a car coming, aiming to park into our car park. Okay. Here it is. So you open the wow. gate. Wow. Opens. Parks. So wow. come to our display board. All Since right. the car has parked into our park, we have slots left. You have seven slots left. Seven slots. Wow. Yes. So as the car count enters, it. you can count it. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, six, seven. Okay. So as, as the, the car, car enters, the um, counter is going to decrease by, by one. Yes. It will, wow. it will decrease by one. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Another car is here. Okay. Came into park into our car park. Okay. So he sees it that we have seven slots left. Seven slots. So wow. he still has a space to park. Okay. There it is. Okay. So we have six slots. Slots. Left. Wow, wow, wow. This is awesome. Nice. I'm loving this. I'm loving this guys. Okay. Here is another car. Okay. Coming here. Okay. We have five slots. Five slots left. left. Okay. Here is another car. Aiming to park into our car park. Okay. So we have four slots left. All right. Here is another car. Here is another car. All right. We have three slots left. Three slots left. Okay, nice. Okay. Another car wanting to park in our car park. We have two slots left. All right. Okay, here is another car. Coming. Coming. So okay. we have a slot left. Just one slot left, just guys. One, one slot left. Alright. We have just one slot left. Here is another car. So now we have zero, zero slots. slots left. Guys, come look at this. We have zero slots left, guys. Slots left wow, okay. In our car park. Alright. So as we are Nigerians, all right. So um, a driver might want to park into park our car inside. park. All right. Since we have those slots, like he will feel like maybe he can see a park to park in. Okay. So here it comes. The gates will not open. Wow, the gates like do not even the open at all, guys. Wow, and this is very awesome. All right. It's to tell him sorry. Sorry, parking fool. Wow, so, wow, wow. Where is that? And if a car leaves. If a car leaves the car park, it should decrement by so one. So it should decrease. It should increase the spaces by it's one. By one. Increase the spaces okay, yeah, by one. Increase the spaces by one. Sorry, yeah, guys. So this guy is leaving. The car has left. So the come. Car park. Look at this. We have from zero. It's, it's increased back to one. It's not left. Wow. So if another car should leave the car park, so we have two, two slots, slots left, as you can see. So wow. that gives chance for another car All right. to come inside the car park. Thank you. Wow, wow. wow. So, Mr. Abdul Razak Ajibola, yes, thank you very much for that wonderful presentation. In fact, I didn't know that you knew she was somebody like you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so lastly, what do you have to tell other students that are aspiring to like do their project or they are aspiring to like do something like what you just did? Okay, um, I would advise students, okay. most especially engineering students. Engineering students, okay. yes, engineering students to, um, to think outside the box. Do you understand? Think outside the box, think guys. Think outside the box. Right. Outside the box. So we can create, we can create projects that will be useful to humans. All right. To humans. So do you understand? So I'm advising engineering students. Most especially my department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My department students. There are many okay. projects we can do. All right. um, the main aim okay. and objectives our lecturers do give us is 
even if you are building something that someone has already built, yes. what is what are your own improvements? Yes, what are you adding to that? What are you adding to it? How is it unique? What are you what are you adding to it to make it unique? Right. Do you understand? So that is what I would advise our students to think outside the box. All right. So think and you can create. Think create together, things. rub minds together. All right. So we can create things. Even if it has been done before you can improve, improve it. it you can make improvements very right, very good so, uh, hello uh, subscribers yeah. please youtube <laughs> subscribers please subscribe to the devil channel yeah. you'll see many things like this coming up very soon yes yeah, so Thanks. educational tips tech videos lifestyle vlogs that are coming up soon guys stay tuned all right, all right peace out thank you. you thank you brother <laughs>